Hello and welcome to the first video of a series where we're going to aim to prove the existence of a number, namely Euler's number. which is uh, written as E. And you've probably learned before that E is equivalent to the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence of numbers. And uh, at least in high school, we're all told, we're all told that uh, this number definitely does exist and that this limit, for that matter, also exists. In other words, the sequence 1 plus 1 over n to the power n uh, does get closer and closer and closer to uh, around 2.7. But at least in high school, a actual proof of this result is usually not given. And so that will be the aim of this series of videos. So today we're going to actually learn what the limit of a sequence means. <clears throat> now, a good way of first introducing this concept is to look at a image. Look at a picture of a convergent sequence. So, imagine the x-axis here is n, which stands for a line which contains all the natural numbers. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, and so on. And the vertical axis, the y-axis, are just uh, is just a line that represents the terms of the sequence. So if we denote a sequence by s of n, that is, well, s of one is the first term, you know, first term of the sequence. S of two is the second term then s of n is the nth term of the sequence. So this line represents s of n. And we see that s of 1, maybe it's some number over here. s of 2, um, that's s of 1 over here. s of 2 might be over here. Maybe s of 3 is over here. And suppose the sequence is getting closer and closer to some number. Let's say it's getting closer and closer to this number over here, whatever it is. Let's say it's uh, 0.1. It's getting closer and closer to 0.1. So what that means is, as we progress, the uh, terms of the sequence get closer to 0 0.1. And in fact, what we notice is, if we want the terms of our sequence to be, uh, let's say, within a distance of 0 0.04 away, then we can indeed find terms which are a distance of 0 0.4 away. So suppose I create a strip over here, a strip over here, and the strip I create is of a width of 0 0.4 units. Well, if the sequence truly converges to 0 0.1, it means that after a certain number of terms, so perhaps after the sixth term, I notice that all the terms of my sequence actually lie within this strip, which means that the distance between, between all the terms of my sequence and 0 0.1 which is denoted with this absolute value sign, is always less than 0 0.4 after, after um, some term in the sequence. In other words, there exists a natural number again, such that if we take all the terms after the big nth term of the sequence, 
the distance between the terms of the sequence and 0.1, which is what we said that this sequence converges to, can be made less than 0.4. But notice 0.4, which was the width of the strip, was a completely arbitrary choice. I could have chosen 0.01 or 0.5 or 0.7 or 57, any number, and since the sequence gets closer and closer and closer to 0.1, I can always find this big end such that if I take terms after the uh, big nth term, the terms of the sequence always lie within a strip any number of 0 0.1. So, in fact, I can actually replace 0 0.4 with any positive number. I can replace it with epsilon. So, we now can move on to the general definition of uh, convergence of a sequence, or the limit as n approaches infinity of a sequence. So we say the limit as n approaches infinity of a sequence n is equal to the real number L if for all positive numbers greater than zero, for all epsilon greater than zero, this quantifier here just stands for for all, so you can read it as for all, for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists, so this quantifier stands for there exists, there exists um, a natural number, big N. This means belongs to, and this denotes the set of natural numbers. such that if little n is greater than big n, the terms of the sequence, the distance of the terms of the sequence after the big nth term and our limit can be made less than epsilon. Notice we can do this for all epsilon. So in other words, we can always make our make the terms of our sequence um, epsilon away from our limit where epsilon can be any number no matter how small or no matter how large so hopefully this definition of the sequence um, doesn't change uh, your intuitive understanding of the convergence of a sequence which is that we can uh, well the sequence gets closer and closer to l because you can see quite clearly that this indeed does line up with the notion of uh, of of, a con of the convergence of the sequence as uh, you know we can we can make the sequence as close as we like to L. Okay, so hopefully there's no difference in this definition of the sequence and your understanding of the sequence as it is. So this ends the first video. Thank you for watching.